back to school comes as parents and businesses are hit hard with the impacts of the statewide school bus driver shortage and canceled bus routes. Our Eddie Dowd has more. The effects of suspended school bus service for around 3,000 students are now being felt across the island chain. Pacific Floral Exchange in Puna says 20% of its employees are now having to come into work later and leave early to pick up their kids from school. Wednesdays, they need to leave here at 1 o'clock. They normally leave at 4 o'clock. A shortage of bus drivers caused the DOE last week to temporarily suspend bus routes in central Oahu, East Hawaii Island, along with central and upcountry Maui. Management at the Puna Flower Shop says if the situation isn't resolved by Labor Day, changes will have to be made. Do I hire new employees and it's already difficult? to find employees, or do I set up a, an area within my workplace that they can bring their children back from school and hang out until they're done with work? Over in upcountry Maui, the principal of King K. Kaulike High School says nearly half of her student body, about 500 students, take the school bus. She says on the first day of school Wednesday, around 100 students didn't show up and is working to create temporary solutions. I've opened our cafeteria after school as a study hall so that parents who have to work late, whose children would normally go home on the bus, have a place that's safe to go. Principal Strand says one challenge for her community is that families live in rural areas away from public transportation. There is a stop that's close enough to the school that students could walk from the, the nearest stop but the problem is picking them up at their houses. It can be miles away from where, you know, the student lives. The DOE says it does not expect the bus situation to be an all school year problem, but told H&N there could be an update later this week. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.